this is Ronan. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to this particular mini-series where I play Door Kickers 2 while employing real life-esque CQB tactics uh, that I've learned by playing Airsoft and other Milsim games such as this. If you don't want to be uh, going through introduction, through the introduction and through the squad introductions, please click on the next chapter where we are going through the planning. Now, let's uh, go through the planning. Uh, and also, sorry, introduce you to the squad. Uh, so our Final Fantasy squad uh, uh, today consists of Zell, we have Sid because he needs to be in every single mission, we have Irvin, we have Ronan, we have Sephiros, and we have Rinoa. It's a hostage rescue, um, so I'm gonna be uh, using less than little uh, force here most of the time when I'm especially deploying explosives, which is like grenades or uh, flashbangs, uh, but I did bring some wall charges, wall breed charges, um, and I'll explain why I uh, have done so. Let's go through planning. What do we have here? We have, uh, basically speaking, three different areas uh, in this particular um, uh, scenario. One area is the smallest one and presents us with the least possible amount of problems. Then we have uh, a second area, which is the building, and also the garage here. So my plan is, before I go internal, because there are only two ways I can get into this building. Actually, this is not even a way, I'm not sure. I would have to blow it up, but I don't want to be doing that, because it's a room where a hostage may be hiding. So my plan is to pie off as much as possible of this room uh, before committing uh, my troopers to go and stack up here. Uh, and before I do, uh, once the fires, uh, the, uh, the rounds are fired, um, I, I'm assuming there will be some response from the op 4, so they'll most likely open these doors and I'm gonna uh, see uh, how they respond to it for the first few seconds of the mission. Uh, at the same time, I'm gonna have one uh, operative here, uh, potentially pying off this room, um, seeing as much as possible of, uh, of what's inside uh, before we uh, go internal. The reason is is because this particular area is a big, big cluster F. So we have this door, this door, and this door, and we can expect uh, all four coming through pretty much any one of those doors. So I would like to mitigate uh, the danger as much as possible by clearing this room. Uh, I'm going to be posting uh, probably one uh, Sephiroth most likely who will be covering this door uh, while we're working on this room I'm not gonna be touching this room because it's locked it's a bit too much hassle and plus we have two more reasons one and two there's massive windows here that basically mean that anyone who's here they'll be able to see through and anyone caught inside uh, in this threshold in this uh, fatal funnel or if they're caught it's the end for them so just to give you a quick idea, we're gonna go this way, this way, here, uh, and then my last part of the plan is I'm gonna blow up this uh, door in order to open myself up to a uh, better angling to deal with the garage. And I'm only gonna do that once this structure is clear, apart from this room. Let's get cracking. So let's go have Irvin pieing off this area. I'm gonna bring my assaulters a bit closer to the grating gates. Oh, okay, so we already have someone here. I'm gonna... Oh, come on. What happened there? We lost the element of surprise because the fire... Uh... Okay, now we got two um, insurgents down with some injuries from uh, for Ronan, but I'm not worried about it for now. Because uh, plates... Uh, caught some rounds. Uh, the reason why I'm placing him here uh, is I need to make sure that no one runs from this um, uh, door uh, to meet us. Uh, now we're gonna open this door just so we don't have to deal with it later and I'm gonna pie off as much of this room as possible. Okay, it's ready. Okay. Uh, this room is fairly empty. I'm gonna uh, place him outside of the window just to better my angling actually no I'm gonna do it this way so we can see anyone who may be coming from this room if I haven't cleared it through this door now he is containing uh, this room here now uh, we have uh, Irvin containing uh, the room 
and now we need to go internal fairly quickly before anyone can react to our presence so we're gonna commit to this we don't have any red corners here so I'm pretty happy I'm gonna post Sephiroth here and Rinoa you're gonna join the stack let's go Ronan you don't need to be here anymore I'm actually gonna stack you here you're gonna four man let's split this particular stack okay let's open the door and you are also gonna be okay uh, that was bad he was injured by its smaller uh, like pistol fire so it shouldn't be too bad okay three two one okay well what it told me that it means there was someone there and the door is open so it may it will make our work a little bit easier and faster but before we uh, do that I would like to deal with these doors so I would like to contain this room and this entrance and open these doors first so we know what actually no delay that I'm gonna deal with this as soon as possible you're gonna throw a flashbang and you're gonna go in good thing I did this room is clear now Reno you are going to place placing charge and you my friend are going to do the same thing she's being covered so it's all good can you do this yep placing charge we know you're going this way right let's retreat a little bit making sure that we are all safe and blow it up okay so we've blown up the doors uh, making sure that no one is in this area and uh, uh, our Sephiroth did his job here so we're gonna let it breathe for another four seconds four three two one okay now I don't want to be breaching through this door because uh, it kind of goes uh, we have known threats unknown threats and right now this is open meaning that it's it presents more danger than this door to us I know it sounds illogical I'm gonna reload with Ronin I'm gonna reload with Zell so it is okay tactical reload done here we go let's go um, Ronan is gonna go here and he's gonna plate this particular door huh? what happened okay that's bad okay so Ronan is literally standing in the threshold here okay gonna put him this way a little bit so he's gonna play this uh, door should anyone go through it we dealt with another insurgent here so we're gonna keep going so far so good it's a little messy but okay all right the caliber of mp5 uh, is a little low so he had to really um, uh, light this guy up in order to uh, put him down so we are I'm not worried about this here I'm gonna actually expose my flank to it because we have uh, Irvin who is covering this entrance but I am worried about this because I'm assuming this door is open and we also need to make sure that this is also clear what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a flashbang here and we're gonna have Renoir nope he has more situational awareness we're just gonna do it this way it's gonna kind of play this area but only on alpha okay let's go flash it out alpha, alpha go. go I'm gonna have the second one here bit messy okay so now um, we are uh, containing this entrance here 
uh, kind of this entrance here and this one here so what we need to do is I need to make sure that because before we move in forward here I need to make sure to get uh, to take care of this area because it will be on our rear and I can't allow that so what we're gonna do is gonna move a little bit further in well you are applying a slap charge okay good that's what what we're doing that's a team of two we have kind of a high low here um, Sid was applying charges and he was covered by Zell which worked like magic let's go I'm gonna I'm gonna have to keep uh, the uh, Zell covering because I don't have enough manpower here all right awesome so we have the first hostage here so we're gonna move oh wow he's really playing it he needs to reload before he does I'm gonna move them this way now the tactical reload the reason why I had to rearrange that is because if he reloaded and somebody was coming in he would be pretty much in deep trouble so we're gonna reshuffle this I'm gonna get this hostage here and while I'm doing that we're bringing the rest of the world I say oh I forgot about this guy he needs to go this way let's run thank you hostage secured okay hostage can go through I'm fairly certain he's safe let's go Just for the sake of it, let's make sure that this room is clear. I don't need to flashbang it because I cleared it fairly thoroughly, but it's okay just to be thorough. Now this is the time I'm gonna put a wall breach charge here. And we're gonna bring Okay, this is where it gets a little more uh, tricky. Before we move forward, I have one guy covering, Reno covering this entrance and this entrance here. So I need to make sure that this red corner is clear before I move forward. I'm just gonna angle it this way, okay. Not bad at all. So what we have here is really we've kind of prepared ourselves for uh, this final assault that is gonna happen on this garage and we're gonna clear this room as well I'm not opening this door I'm holding here I'm gonna let uh, Zell and uh, Sephiroth do most of the work right now because it's a little bit too dangerous so Sid you're gonna be covering this uh, you're gonna be covering this like that in fact instead of Zell who has a low caliber weaponry I'm gonna bring Irvin here Okay, are we ready to do it? Let's go. Perfect. Having three guns in this entrance allowed us to make sure that everyone, one, two, three, four, four insert not everyone, four insurgents are down. Now it's a matter of uh, we're gonna wait for a little bit and let it breathe. Three, two, one. Okay. Now let's buy it off because now we still have this area that is not clear here we have nothing here that I can think of well I, I, I can't see anything there this whole area is uh, not clear and this area is also a bit of a danger for us so I think it's a good time now to blow up this door can I yes I can I'm not worried about hostages here because uh, no one's gonna place a hostage right next to the door and the only thing that it will do it will um, uh, stun anyone who is here so and at the same time we'll have Irvin opening nah I'm not gonna open the door let's just see what we see not much 
let's go and buy this off. We have one more host hostage. There's one insurgent. I'm gonna angle a little bit better. We're gonna pay off a little more. I'm gonna go back. Ooh, he has a high caliber gun. So, okay, this is dangerous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this door quietly. And because this insurgent is looking this way now, waiting for uh, Ronin to go through, we're gonna pie like this and make sure that... Okay, that was fairly well done. Okay, um, you see what I saw, we, <laughs> you see what I saw, you see what I did there, we outflanked him and uh, all he had, he had to turn and I saw that he had a high caliber weapon, meaning that he needed the time to actually re, um, rearrange himself. Uh, Resituate himself and look north and that's why he caught some bullets. Let's see and review this Okay, let's go So I had a fairly good plan uh, To begin with and I think it worked fairly well as well. Oh, that was just a freak thing there um, I've also noticed that bringing low caliber weapons uh, does have its disadvantages if I don't need to be quiet I don't have to be and bring an mp5 uh, is this six I think it is you, I should have brought something more um, uh, Something more with a punch, but that's okay So now we have Sephiroth uh, running containment in the stores. We have a, a split stack That was just bad luck Um you saw that one insurgent had to look up at his dead body uh, and uh, that's why he caught some uh, rounds in his back. We had to be fairly quick here uh, because obviously uh, we were right in this fatal funnel which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, blowing up two doors is a little bit too much I think but in this situation I needed to create the biggest opening I could find. Um, I've uh, regrouped and once the blow, uh, we've blown them up it was a good choice because we kept safe. Okay, so next uh, we needed to yeah uh, reload tactically, and only then we were able to commit ourselves and go internal. Okay, we've uh, we are uh, securing not securing sorry um, covering this door, so our rear is pretty secured. Flashbangs are magic, but they didn't need to happen there. Placing charge. Yep. That's what high-low does. Flashbang, it's a one-man clear, unfortunately. But it was more than enough. Alright. So, I didn't want to... My idea was... That was just funny. I mean, it's a game. Um, uh, what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to bring the hostage right in front of uh, one of the operator's guns. So, I uh, put uh, Sid a little bit further in the front. So, he had weapons uh, trained on those entrances and exits while I'm taking one of the hostages to the area here. While this was happening, yeah, I just made sure, just checked the box, this was clear, I've made this uh, mistake before. Okay, and now the fireworks. So we have a big wall charge here, it's massive. Um, and uh, we have, yeah, I had to rethink it, Zell, uh, the caliber is a bit too low, so we had uh, Irvin with the MK18 carabine and that was just full of good entrance. At this point I ran out of options. I needed to make sure that this room is clear. Okay. Found a hostage. Yep, good shooting. For one guy, he panicked, he tried to probably go behind this cover. I wasn't gonna go forward because that's just a death trap, yeah, and that's what happened. We outflank him, and that's where this, I'm just gonna show you, oh, okay. And the L shape uh, that we were talking about before, uh, kinda helped. Okay, thank you so much for watching. You saw how um, it's a very complex situation, but we uh, managed to work through this step by step. The initial plan was fairly good, but after a while it needed to be adjusted just considering what we were uh, encountering as we were uh, going through our steps again thank you so much uh, please share like and subscribe this really helps uh, thank you for all the support all the comments that you've done so far you've made so far really helped it's nice to uh, see some interaction so i answer every single comment so 
uh, please do let me know if you would have done something differently or if there is a different loadout you use it would be nice to hear from you for now this is it over and out